Hello and welcome back to goldstocktrades.com. Today we have a new and special guest with us, Michael Kasha. Michael Kasha is Senior Vice President of Sales at Great Lakes Graphite, which can be traded as GLK on the TSX Venture and as GLKIF on the OTC. Thanks, Mike, for being here with us today. Well, thanks, Joe, for having me. Mike, you have over 30 years' experience in the chemicals and minerals industry. You really know the existing business of graphite. You've worked for companies like SGL Carbon and Ontario Graphite and Bayer Chemical. Talk to us about your background and what you're doing right now at Great Lakes Graphite uh, in the graphite sector. Yeah, so Jeb, I have, like you're saying, I have you know 30 years of experience in the uh, mining and metal industry, and um, a lot of the you know a lot of the processing that I did throughout my career was was taking these products and uh, adding value to them. You know, whether we made them into powder, whether we made them into rock products. I mean, the goal was we we took products that that we had and we added value. So that's the roadmap that we have for GLK. I mean, today um, what we bring is we have a secure feedstock from um, the number one, the largest supplier of graphite product uh, in Brazil. And we have two partners in the industry, one that um, helps process the material on the micronization side, and then we have a purification partner. And then what we bring to the table at the end of the cycle is the customers. Uh, based on my experience that I've had, a lot of the same customers who are buying the other metals and minerals from me also purchase graphite products uh, in various, you know, shapes, sizes, and purity. So, um, what you know, what GLK brings to the in, to this venture is that. Um, the front end and the back end, right? We have the secure raw material supply of graphite, and then we bring the the markets, um, which we know very well based on my past experience. Mike, so you're not like a lot of these other junior mining graphite companies that are building a resource or an economic study. You actually have been reporting revenue uh, in 2016 from from sales of this graphite. So can you tell me how Great Lakes kind of differentiates itself from these other graphite companies? Sure. I mean, what we, what we don't have is a mine, right? We are not in the mining industry. Um, Today, um, especially for uh, mines that are, let's say in Ontario or the Canada province, you know, you're looking at a very expensive processing of the ore based on, you know, the structure of the rock that is in Ontario. So you're looking at roughly costs that are probably somewhere between $1,000 and $1,200 per ton to process it. And the market today for graphite on the pricing side for a flake graphite that hasn't been processed or run a mine material is probably running anywhere from, you know, 700 to 11 to 1200 dollars a ton so at best you would break even so you know we we are not in the mining industry we we kind of recognized that several years ago when i joined the company that it would be best if we could supply a very good price raw material from a qualified mine that has been in business for for many many generations and then we would just add the value to it so we, we don't look at ourselves as one of these junior miners um, that are out there today that are trying to first get their mine up and running. Most of them need, you know, two or three years to get permitted and to get the site up and running. And they need anywhere, you know, from 50 to $100 million, depending on the size of the processing plant that they want to build. So... Um, we don't have what, what makes us successful and why we were able to generate um, revenue quickly was, you know, we were able to work with these partners and um, not have the huge CapEx costs or the timing, the timeline to 
to build out the structure and then try to qualify customers. You know, we with the raw material supply we had, we were able to start qualifying customers uh, pretty quickly. So I guess some of the customers were in the, uh, I guess the, the, the markets are the traditional existing businesses are the drilling and the lubricant side. And I guess the future is the battery business, right? So can you talk to us about the Correct. existing business and the sort of the transition that, that GLK will go towards the EV electric vehicle battery storage bit, uh, business? Sure. Um, yeah, we, we started qualifying. If you look at the, the traditional businesses that are in the graphite market, qualification times take anywhere from three, let's say from three to 12 months, depending on <clears throat> the quality of the product and the application. So we've been, we've been fairly successful and quickly we're able to qualify basically design and engineer several products for the drilling fluids applications, which today we are, you know, we have um, orders that we're processing every month for that industry uh, with a few customers. Uh, same on the lubricant side. It took a little bit longer to get qualified in the lubricants industry, probably a little bit long, about six months. And there we are supplying um, several customers with products on a, on a monthly basis. The goal was was to build up our traditional business, um, whether it was lubricants, drilling application, uh, friction products, and then slowly migrate into the EV market once we were generating revenue and were profitable. Take that money and then start developing products for the EV market. Um, what, hap- what has happened over the last, I would say, two quarters is after attending a few trade shows in the um, battery sector, we became it became apparent to us because that we were a North American producing facility with a non-Chinese source of material. Uh, these battery customers all of a sudden became very interested in GLK and asked us to start qualifying materials with them over the over the last two quarters and that's what we've been doing um other than one customer who i knew through my um previous employment with bayer um we've been in qualification with them in the lead acid industry battery market um for almost two years now we're just about there is getting qualified we have a meeting set up in july and hopefully we'll get the uh the final approval but you can see it takes uh, <laughs> You know, not many, many months. It could take a couple of years to get qualified for this market that, you know, for the battery industry that, you know, a lot of these products end up in the consumer's <clears throat> products, as we all know. And, you know, the scrutiny on the minerals and the products going to this industry is very high right now based on what's happened in the last, you know, several months with the lithium ion batteries having, you know, having issues. Mike, how do you see Great Lakes being able to to build a market share in this market. I know you've worked for some of these big chemical and, and graphite companies. How do you see GLK uh, breaking through there? Um, well, I would say um, <laughs> it's already happening. Um, you know, we are, like I said, we have been noticed in the industry by several of the large battery customers. Um, we, when we helped develop, when we, uh, when we helped, um, develop a product for this industry, uh, we worked with someone that was very well connected to the OEMs in this market. And he helped us, you know, get our product into the hands of several of these large OEMs. So, you know, we have a lot of good, I would say we have a very good network based on my past experience of people that have, I'll say, opened the doors for us and and are qualifying our product, which is the most difficult part of the process. You need to have, I need to know of these industry contacts um, to get your product into the right hands, you know, into the right hands of the technical people so that they'll take the time and cost to qualify a new supplier. You know, I think is, is, you know, you can read about everything that, that's in the industry 
that you see as press releases that, oh, you know, we, we, you know we've, we've developed a product. And it's almost like they put a press release out with, from these union monies and, and they're waiting for the customers to come. It doesn't work that way. You have to pretty much almost like push your way through the door to get them to recognize your capabilities and the products that you have, you know, that could help them, you know, improve their product. So, I mean, I think that's one of the things that, that I bring to GLK is basically the network that I have in the industry that can help, that's helped us get into several of these battery accounts. And as you said earlier, um, there's many more of these battery companies that are, that are popping up, you know, every month um, that are going to need graphite materials. So I think, you know, as the, today is what we see, Jeb, is not the EV market. It's more of the storage market that has really exploded, that is generating a, you know, a demand for graphite. You know, the EV market is still, I think, one that the consumer is trying to, you know, put their hands around and see if it's worth making, you know, that investment in a vehicle, which today is still fairly expensive, you know, until the costs come down. Um, I think, you know, the, the storage market is going to, is going to dwarf the EV market over the next 12 to 18 months. Mike, 2017 has been a very exciting time for Great Lakes Graphite. You've announced several purchase orders from U.S. and European industrial customers. You've also announced partnerships with a micronization partner and a purification partner. Talk to us about the developments in 2017 and what investors should expect going forward in the second half of 2017? Uh, okay, so, you know, we have, um, for 2017, one of the, you know, we should expect, they should expect that we will have a, uh, a supply agreement from one of our uh, larger customers where they have now gone out to their customers in the marketplace and been able to, sell more volume of the graphite that we we engineered for them for those two products we talked about earlier, um, which would be very exciting because that will give us, you know, certainty in that with, well, with that one customer and then specifically in that industry. Um, so, you know, like I said, we have one major customer in that, in that market for the drilling fluids and now we're talking to, to several others. So, you know, we're starting to gain credibility, um, which is very important, you know, to become a reliable supplier. And, you know, we think we've demonstrated that towards the end of last year and early this year by being able to, to you know, to manufacture and deliver a product uh, with good quality. And that has been obviously um, verified by the customer to continue to give us these customers continuing giving us purchase orders and secondly one willing to supply a you know a year-long supply agreement with us um, the other thing is you'll probably see more of us developing um, customers and relationships with some of the larger OEMs in the battery market um, we will do that through our partners the goal is to you know hopefully sometime this year be able to establish a, a joint venture uh, specifically with one of our partners that will predominantly put all of our efforts and energy into the battery industry. So we will, you know, at the same time, you know, we're looking at bringing on a, um, a another technical person, a CTO possibly to help us, you know, develop and build and maybe engineer or help come up with some um, products, develop some IP uh, for the battery market. Mike Kasha, Senior Vice President of Sales of Great Lakes Graphite, which can be traded as GLK on the TSX Venture and as GLKIF on the OTC. You can get more information by going to their website at greatlakesgraphite.com. Thanks, Mike, for being here with us today and for giving us a better understanding of the Great Lakes Graphite story. Well, thanks, Jeb. Appreciate it. Enjoy talking with you.